Hi, I'm Miss Parrish, and we are at Jackson Davis Elementary School in second grade, and we are going to be learning about magnets this morning. Um, all right, so we're going to get started. So we are going to get our board turned on. All right, so we are going to start today by just exploring with magnets. Um, and so at your tables, we're going to stay in our seats, and I'm going to give you, they're called magnet tiles. And so you at your seat are going to get, you might have played with them before, you might have seen them before. I'm seeing some yes. So you're going to get a couple. You're going to have two minutes. Once everybody gets them, you have two minutes to explore and just kind of play around with them. Okay, does that make sense to everybody? Yeah. All right, yeah. together. Here, we got some here. That's just what we got. You're welcome. You're welcome. So I'm hearing that we have some different shapes that we're talking about. You can make different shapes is what I'm hearing. Perfect. All right, so Josie, I want you to just play around with them, see kind of what you notice with them. Can you make different shapes? Oh, I hear we made a cute, I got a couple cubes. Oh, I got like a pyramid. Here, I'll give you, a, give you some. Uh, the top of it. That's the top of making a TV. Ah. <clears throat> Let's see. Time. But look, so what do you notice is happening to them? How do, how do you think they got to stick together? Emma, how are they sticking together? What do we think is inside of it? What? Magnet. Very nice. Oh, whoa. That's pretty cool. Nice. All right, you've got 35 seconds left. 35 seconds left. Wowza. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, so you made a 3D triangle? Yeah, I made it too. Like a pyramid? Nice. This is a fold-up carpet. A fold-up carpet, okay. Very nice. Alright, so how did you get these all to stick together? What force is keeping these things together? What's making them stick? What's that called? Madness. We don't talk about Alright, go ahead and take your creation apart. And I'm going to come around and collect your magnet tiles. Wow. All right, Louie, take them apart for me. Very nice. Put it in here. It's a bit, yeah, it's like a window. Hey, Josie, start to take them apart, please. Please put them in. Thank you. Perfect. Emma, let's put them in here. All right, take them apart. Thank you. You made a box? Very nice. All right, and then I need a new box to get yours. Alright, then put them in.
Thank you. Just put it. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So we're going to move our timer down here. All right. So now we're going to talk about what did you notice when you were playing with the magnetiles? What was happening when you were working with the magnetiles? Emma? Um, they were like sticking together. Okay, so you noticed they were sticking. And not falling off of each other. Together, they were not falling. They weren't falling apart because they were sticking together, Philo? Like when you flip, when you, like, when you take all of them and like, like you put them together, mm -hmm. and you put them right here, they, they don't fall. Okay, so he's saying that if I had taken them and like if I had them like this and then I kind of like went like that, they're not falling. Okay, so not here, let's see actually not falling to the ground because they're sticking together. What do we think is happening? Whoa. Uh, well, that did. Here we go. Ah, can't get it. There we go. Now, we talked about this yesterday. What is making them stick together? Is Do I have glue? Do I have tape that's making them stick together? No. Farhan, what is making them stick together? Think about what is making them come together, maybe, <laughs> come together to stay together. Am I putting glue here? Am I putting tape here? No, something's happening. Something's in these blocks. Fleet, what's in these blocks? Magnets. Magnets. The magnets are helping them stick together. So we notice that there's magnets inside them. And this is something that we kind of talked about yesterday. So we kind of noticed that if Miss Parrish is kind of like flinging them around, they might fall apart. But for the most part, if I'm very steady with them and still, it's going to stay. We talked about yesterday the force. Would this be a strong magnet or maybe not so strong of a magnet? Lincoln? Not, not a super strong force, not a super strong force, but there is still magnets in them. Luca? Okay, remember, like, on, like, 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 little force, and then... Like, oh, okay, so we're making a connection to math, so there's a small force in it. It's likely that they're going to stay together. It's, yeah. Yeah, very nice. All right, so now we're going to go into I wonder. What questions do you have about magnets, maybe things that are... What, anything about magnets? Are there any questions that we wonder about the magnetiles? Maybe something that they could pick up? Would they be able to pick up things? What are we wondering about these magnetiles? Shawana? What are like the kind of magnets? Oh, I like that, okay. What are in, is that your question, what are in the magnets? Yeah. What are in the magnets that make them stick together? Okay. What are in the magnets that make them, we'll say, stick together? That's a good question. So what's inside these little things that make them stick together? Daxton? Um, I know the answer to that. I think it's iron. So they have some iron material inside of them that help the magnets stick together. That's what magnets are attracted to. Emma? What are magnets made of? What are magnets made of? Josie, let's put our folder away, please. Thank you. What are magnets? made of. So what is inside these little things and what is what it, what is it made out of? Um, Riley? Do they stick to anything? Ooh, that's a good one. I'm going to have to change my color because I'm going to go into the black. Do anything. Do they stick to anything? Yeah. That is an awesome... 
There we go. Whoops. Ah, uh, our, our, what's it called? Question marks, I'm having a little dot. Great question, and that's going to bring us into our experiment for today. So you guys um, are going to actually be working with magnets and trying to figure out materials that are magnetic, and then we're gonna be given a task. We're gonna be given a task. So we're gonna explore, but then we have to stop and wait because we are going to make predictions before we begin. So it's kind of like what, how we did yesterday in our science lesson. Before we do an experiment, we need to make our predictions. So you're gonna go ahead and get out your pencil. Get out your pencil. And you're gonna get a worksheet. What is the very first thing you need to put on your worksheet? Name. Your name. So go ahead, I'm gonna do quickly pass them out, take and pass. Put your name on the top, and then we're going to talk about your first task yes. with your prediction worksheet. All right, so your name should be at the top. And before we get to our exploring, we're going to make predictions. So we have a bunch of items here, and we're going to predict if they are magnetic or not. Can a prediction be wrong? Yes. Yes. yes, a prediction can be wrong. It's okay if your prediction is wrong because then we're gonna do the exploring and then we're gonna figure out was our prediction correct or was it incorrect? And we're gonna learn from our exploration. So the first thing is we're only gonna fill out the prediction column, which is the middle column. What, pr what column are we gonna fill out? Prediction. prediction, the middle column. So you have all these items, so we're gonna just quickly go through. You're gonna make a prediction. I already see some of you have made, started making predictions on if you think the item's gonna be magnetic. So the first one is cloth. So think about like your clothes, kind of like a dish rag. Think about do you think that's gonna be magnetic? So do you think your, mag, um, your cubes, can your cubes, are they gonna be magnetic? Are they going to attract cloth? The next item is a paper clip to make your prediction. It's okay, again, if your prediction is wrong. It does not have to be right. We haven't explored it yet. So you're making a prediction. So you should have your predictions all done. Do your predictions have to be correct? No. No, remember it's just a prediction. You're just making a good guess on what you think. Now, I want you to leave and push your prediction sheet towards your, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Prediction sheet towards your name tag. Put your pencil on top of your prediction sheet. We're gonna come back to it later, but we don't need it just right now. So thumbs up if your prediction sheet is all filled out. You've all your predictions. Farhan, got all your predictions, Leslie? All your predictions, Lincoln? Perfect. All right, so our next step is, all right, do we think if paper's magnetic? This is gonna be our first prediction. Yes or no? You're either going yep no. or no. All right, that's gonna be our big test for today. So I'm gonna get these off the screen so that we're not too distracted by them. You are going to be with a partner or a small group. Ms. Parrish has already picked them out for you, so we're not going to stress or worry about that today. You and your partner are going to get the bag of items. And then you're going to get one mag magnet stick wand. What you and your partner are going to do, you're going to take turns so that it's not just one partner doing it. You are going to take the items out of the bag and you're going to explore. Are the objects in this bag magnetic? Okay, that's what you're working on. You're figuring out, are they gonna be magnetic? Are they not magnetic? Once you and your partner have explored all of them, you are gonna make two piles. You're gonna make a pile that's magnetic and you're gonna make a pile that is not magnetic. Okay, I'm gonna give two minutes for exploring these items. So when you get with your partner, are we focused on talking and chatting? No, we're gonna be focused on exploring. 
Does our magic wand go anywhere near our face? Yeah. Does our magic wand go anywhere near our mouth? No. Does our magic wand touch another person? No. no. So if me and Philo are partners, maybe I do two items, he does two items. We're working on collaborating with each other, working with each other, making sure everybody gets a turn. Does that make sense? All right. All right, three minutes to explore your items. Three minutes to explore your item. Prediction was right. Who's going next? All right. Is it magnetic? Yes. Okay. So is a pipe cleaner magnetic? Was your prediction right on that one? Did you say it was? Yeah. I said no. You said no? I said no on that one too. All right, let's see. I think it's Leslie's turn. Is there any magnetism going on there? No. Ooh, so is your prediction right on this one? Uh, I do not know. So think about what do you, there has to be, think about the, the, what's inside of the pipe cleaner. Okay, so are you making your two piles? Is, is Lucian using the, um, are we letting Lucian use it? All right, how's it going over here? It's okay. All right, so what is this? Is aluminum foil magnetic? No. All right. There is no way of a cup of water. And I got my Look at this. All right, are we making our two piles? Yeah. And just letting you guys know that. Oh, I never even started the time. All right, is the dime? Is that a dime? That's a nickel, but is it magnetic? No. Nope. You have a magnet. All right, have you tried the cloth yet? Have you tried the cloth? Is it magnetic? Never. No. What's left? What's that? What is this called, though? Paper. Paper. Is the paper magnetic? No. No. So what are your items that are? What are those items called? Paper clip, binder clip. We'll put one. So now we have to dump it back and do a screw. Yes. We need to do a pipe cleaner. I hope that we are being kind over here. All right, so what is this? Was it magnetic? Yes. All right, what was this? Oh my gosh, I'm wrong. Was it magnetic? I was right. Binder clip? All right, we need to be a little quieter. How to go over here? All right, so are these magnetic or not magnetic? Not magnetic, and then where's our magnetic? No, we did that yesterday. So we missed an item. Is it the fuzz on the pipe cleaner or what's in the inside of the pipe cleaner? Inside. All right, you should be almost done. Yeah. So you're going to give it to Lucian. Awesome, thank you for agreeing. All right. What item was my name? You right? Okay. Wait, what was your answer? Wait, well, they're not all we, silver. We skipped, no. Oh, okay. We skipped the dime. We did it. No, we already did it. Paper clip? Binder clip? No, no, it was the binder. Screw. And what else? There's one more item. The pipe cleaner. Wait, what was the dime? Was the dime right or wrong? The dime is wrong. In your items um, because we still have one more task of magnets to do. Thanks for watching. Go